Okay, today we're working on this 2016 Dodge Caravan. It's got 87,000 miles on it. And the problem is, is the transmission goes into limping mode. Um, it's a 62 TE, six speed front wheel drive, very popular transmission in this time frame. So how this works is, um, or excuse me, what we noticed is um, as soon as it goes into second gear, it limps and it stays in second. So it does a one, two shift and then it's game over. So the code it sets is a PO. 76a all right so dc solenoid circuit so direct clutch now according to a clutch application chart that is used in second gear okay so we think just like the engine computer says that we think there's something wrong with that circuit well chrysler does something pretty interesting on how they diagnose their transmission circuits and one of the things they do is they run a diagnostic pulse so we're connected to the dc solenoid circuit wire all right, now the green trace down here at the bottom, okay, that's current. I've got, I've got an amp probe on that, and the blue is the voltage, okay? So see, I'm sitting there at 12 volts, key on engine off, because I'm sitting there, um, and there's voltage, open circuit. See that pulse right there? So we'll stop and break this for a second. This is really interesting with Chrysler. They've been doing this since 1989 on their 604 transmissions. But I'm gonna blow this up here. We're using a Pico scope. And what happens is, and like I say, this is just key on engine off. Chrysler does this to every solenoid, all right? Now, the diagnosis, believe it or not, is done right now. It's over, this is a bad solenoid, okay? Now, I'll show you, I'll tell you why I know that here in a second. So what happens is I'm sitting here at 12 volts, right? 12 volts, there's my scale. Bam, 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 boom. The computer grounds it for a very short period of time and then it lets go, almost like a fuel injector. Well, what it's doing is it's checking for the inductive, it's, it's checking for the inductive voltage. Well, there's a threshold there. So if, I have, if I've got a coil of wire that's in good shape, when I ground it and let it go, that when that magnetic field collapses, I have flyback voltage. Well, the computer also looks at current. Well, these solenoids normally draw about five to seven amps in my experience, okay? But notice in that quick diagnostic pulse, it's about right there, about six amps, okay? But it didn't hold it very long. But that, that upward trend right there, that's not cool. So that does not look very normal to me. So let's go ahead and let's start it up. Okay, I've got my foot on the brake, I'm in gear. I got my wide tech open to see when the code sets. There's my diagnostic pulse. That's my voltage got pulled to ground for a nanosecond. That's my current, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna accelerate to second gear when the direct clutch is actually applied. Boom, look at that current, boom. See, I just set the code. It says it's pending. It doesn't turn on the trade-in light yet, but that's junk. Look at that current. I'll shut it off. And let's blow this up. So look at that solenoid there. Uh, I'm gonna run a, I think it's drawn 17.06 amps. And see how the computer, it saw the issue, so it's triggered it three more times quickly to see what the heck's going on. And look at that current go freaking sky high. So that's wrong. It should only be about six volts, or, or excuse me, six amps. So that is NFG. So we will replace the solenoid and we will retest this thing. 